The game can be very cruel. Swing through nice and easy. It takes patience, precision, and practice. Ooh, a little hard there. Golf can be an eye-opening experience. Oh, whoops. But imagine if you can't see. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Ricky Ricketts is seven years old. At age five, a genetic disease robbed him of his sight. He may have lost his vision, but he's found a new hobby. A little softer, softer. All right, there you go. That's in the hole. Great shot. He's getting much more confident. He's getting a lot better at the thing. Great shot. I've been playing golf since I was about five. You're probably playing better than I am right now, which is kind of pathetic. He doesn't need me to help him quite as much as he did when we just first started. He's getting much, much better. Jeff Nolan volunteers with the Junior Blind Golf Program. Try that again. For 10 years now, it has introduced golf to visually impaired children ages 5 to 18. Oh, almost on the green, too. The kids are given clubs, balls, and a bag to keep. And they're paired with a local PGA professional. And it's all free. He's almost a full-size person. Yeah, a big one. <laughs> Golfers of Delaware Valley provide the equipment. They're clubs that are lost. And in every clubhouse of every golf course in the country, you can find lost clubs. And they give them to me to use for the kids. Norman Critz is not blind, nor is anyone in his family. But the 76-year-old pharmacist helped create the program. His reasons are clear. Grab some balls and tees and go with Ben to, to the fifth hole. Thank you very much. Okay. I feel that providing golf for blind kids is providing a sport for them to play till they reach 90, 95. All right, who didn't I send out? It's a lifetime sport, and it's something that they can do forever. Eight years ago, Critz designed this nine-hole chip-and-putt course on the grounds of the Overbrook School for the Blind. Twice a year, the course hosts a clinic to bring all the junior golfers together. Your first experience playing golf? Um, no, I've played miniature golf before, but um, and she always beats the rest of us. It's really funny. Well, I have four kids. She's my, my oldest of four. She, she always gets the best score. <laughs> but here, scores don't matter. And 15-year-old John Gabry would tell you that, if he could. Mm. John is legally blind and totally deaf. He only communicates by feeling someone else perform sign language. I like to go swimming and I like rock climbing and I like to play basketball. And I like to play golf. I think it's definitely a self-confidence builder. When he can, he doesn't see where the ball goes, but he gets that great feeling when, um, <laughs> there were plenty of laughs and even more smiles. All right. Nice shot. It's a wonderful day. Ricky loves to play any kind of ball. And um, just to see him smile today, it, it, it makes me very happy. And the day ended with pizza, prizes, and a purpose. I think they feel a sense of accomplishment and their personal gratification is going to enhance their ability to mingle with the real world and uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, okay. Golf is a side. The real world they have to grow into and that's what it's giving them.